What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another vintage Kenner market update. I've got some pallet toy as well. Try logo. I think I've even got a couple of play sets in here. Lots of really good values uh, in this batch of items. Some of them went a little higher than expected, but there were some really fantastic deals, including one that I wish I would have bought now. Uh, but as always, thanks to my Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash actionfiguregrader is where you can go to sign up for my Patreon and get 24 hours early access to all my videos. And as a reminder, shoot me an email to actionfiguregrader at gmail.com if you have a vintage Star Wars collection to sell. I can set you up with some trusted buyers. I just did one the other day and every, all parties were both very happy and uh, I, I don't charge anything for it. Actionfiguregrader at gmail.com and I'll put you in touch with some trusted buyers for your vintage Star Wars items. Let's go ahead and dig right in. All right, uh, let's see. The first one we've got is an AFA 75 Clear Blister Princess Leia Bespin. And this was an offerless card, and it was a 41 back B ESB. Uh, the card was a 75 Blister 80, figure 85 for an overall 75. So something on that card brought the value down uh, for the overall score. And it was a punched example with a price sticker, and it sold in an auction for pretty good money, $895 plus $1,175 shipping. Now, I think $900 maybe is a smidge high, but not too far off of value. Uh, if you're looking at 31s and 41 back uh, ESB Leia Bespins that are like AFA 80s or above, uh, those will usually set you back $1,100 plus. So, you know, I, I think a $900 value is probably about right, but usually the delta between a 75 grade and an 80 grade is a little bit more substantial than a couple of hundred bucks. But uh, nevertheless, it was a very nice item and the clear blister certainly helped as well. But uh, 41 back sold for about 900 bucks. Uh, next up, this was a beautiful free Revenge of the Jedi offer sticker 48 back Zuckus. It also had a clear blister. It was AFA 80 plus, as you can see here, 80, 85, 80 were the sub scores on this. The unfortunate thing on this one is that the Toys R Us price sticker covers up that luscious free Revenge of the Jedi offer for the uh, Admiral Akbar mail away. And so that's the big desire for these card backs, for, for me anyway, for, for these 48 backs, is that free Revenge of the Jedi offer because as, as we all know the, the movie was obviously changed to return of the jedi and there's just something about that offer sticker that really pops and this is a pretty desirable you know uh, bounty hunter but I, I just wish that sticker had not been placed right over top of the offer uh but certainly a gorgeous item and the price i thought was very fair 706 dollars i would have paid that all day long um you know i've seen them go for quite a bit higher than that especially because it was unpunched uh, I, I would I would say that the the Toys R Us price sticker probably is the reason it stayed as low as it did. I was expecting kind of eight to nine hundred dollars, but I probably shouldn't have just given uh, that sticker placement. So maybe that's just me being picky. But for me, that's that's the only reason I would want these forty eight backs is to see that awesome Re Revenge of the Jedi sticker. And the fact that it was partially covered up by that Toys R Us sticker really hurt the value, in my opinion. <clears throat> Next up was a mint on card diecast X Wing fighter. This was a clear blister. Obviously, had some issues with the blister, but not too much. Uh, probably an overall 75, maybe a 70 grade. Uh, it did have some creasing to, uh, to the front of the card right in here, as you can see. So, uh, and it was a punched example with some edge wear. So, I, if I had to guess, it was probably somewhere in that ballpark 70 plus, 75. Uh, that one sold for $256, though. I mean, I've seen them loose in a near mint plus condition. Just the die cast vehicle sell for almost 100 bucks. So uh, to get that one mint on card, clear blister, and let's call it a 70 or 75 grade card, uh, I think 256 was more than fair. And we've certainly seen them sell for higher than that in these market updates. I've seen them sell for four to 500 bucks all day long. So uh, 256, I think, was very fair. Uh, next up was a C-3PO on the Empire Strikes Back card. Tough to find this one with the original 12 C-3PO on this ESB card. This one was the 41 back E. And uh, this this is a pretty desirable card, offerless. It did have a price sticker and it was punched, but uh, that one sold in an auction down in Australia for 565 Australian dollars, which is 375 US. All day long, I'd pay that. That is a, a great price. And it looks to be about an 80 grade. Uh, you know, it's hard to, to tell exactly, but uh, the blister looked to be in pretty good shape overall. Uh, obviously crystal clear. Uh, the card back itself was also very nice condition. I would say it would it would probably grade out at an 80, maybe a 75 plus if the grader was feeling particularly harsh. But 
Uh, to me, 375 for that was a great buy, really good buy there. Uh, next up was a yellowed AFA 80 Princess Leia Organa in her Bush disguise. This was the 77 back A, and uh, this one was graded 80, 85, 85 for the sub scores. Obviously, a yellowed blister, which is common. I mean, that's the biggest problem with Leia Bush on the Return of the Jedi. That one seems to always yellow, and when you do don't find them yellowed, you can expect to pay some big prices. I, I still can't. I'm still trying to get over that clear blister. Emperor's Royal Guard on the Return of the Jedi card that sold at Hakes. I can't remember the number now, but it was like it was like twenty six hundred dollars. Did memory serve? I mean that 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 price was just crazy. So uh, it just shows you that there is a market for those clear blister Return of the Jedi's. But obviously this one was pretty heavily yellowed, and that kept the price down three hundred and fifty three dollars. I've seen them ungraded with very light yellowing, very very light yellowing, sell for about three hundred bucks or so. So I, th I think that price was probably fair just given the heavy yellowing on that one. Uh, now let's dig into SW Seller's really awesome mint on cards that sold. This is one I featured in my last What to Buy video. Uh, this was an uncirculated 85 Meccano rectangle card, Jawa, beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, this one had straight 85s for the sub score. It obviously was yellowed on the blister, but it was an overall 85. And as someone pointed out, what the, the big desire of this one is that the blue snaggletooth is on the back of this card. I think this is the only time he appears on the back of an actual action figure mint on card, if memory serves. It was unpunched, too. That's the other thing I didn't notice. It was unpunched, but the punch did fall out during transit uh, back from grading. So that's unfortunate. But still, it's a really great card back. This is one I do have uncirculated 80 with a clear blister in my collection. And uh, for reference, I think I paid $900 for mine, clear blister, you, uncirculated 80. This was a yellow blister. U85, that one sold for 1025. So I think that's kind of right in line with market. You get a higher grade, but it is yellowed versus the one I, I bought last year that was lower grade, but clear blister. So uh, sold for a little bit more than mine, and uh, I think that's worth every penny in my book. Uh, next up was a clear blister made in Mexico, Lily Letty Squid Head. This is one I do have in my collection. I was very lucky to find mine. I found mine for 150 bucks ungraded, and it graded straight 85s with collector archive services. Uh, this is the 77 back A, made in Mexico, 75, 85, 85 were the sub scores, but uh, really nice example. And this one does have that factory punch through the back of the card right at the return of the Jedi on the on the bottom there. You can see on the of, it's got that factory punch there. So uh, definitely the made in Mexico Lily Letty and uh, made for the U.S. market. Beautiful example. I love that card back. Certainly a, a, a pretty awesome Example and that one sold for two twenty seven forty nine. I thought that was a great buy, really really good value there. I think for a seventy five grade clear blister Letty squid head uh, prune face. This was a yellowed blister eighty plus. That one sold for two hundred and twenty bucks. I mean I guess that's fair. Uh, pretty common item, but eighty eighty five eighty five were the sub scores seventy nine back A unpunched with no price sticker. Uh, two twenty plus fifteen dollars shipping is probably worth it to me. That's a pretty good buy. Uh, the same seller also had this. AFA 80 yellowed blister Lumat. So last 17 figure on the Power of the Force card. $344. Took that home straight 80s for the sub score. Another very fair value, I think, for a mint on card Lumat. Uh, next up, this seller had two beautiful mint on cards. And one of them I did pick up, but not for me. This was not it. This was a Power of the Force unpunched Luke Skywalker in his uh, battle poncho. And. Uh, you know, it, it looks like there's some kind of issues going on with the blister, some dings and things like that. This is probably at best a 70 or 75. I'd say probably a 70. It looks like somebody tried to take the sticker off around the name pill there, so it left some residue there. Uh, some obvious creasing at the top of the card on the right-hand side, but probably an overall 70 would be my guess. 70 plus, somewhere in that ballpark. That one sold for 338 bucks though, for a mint on card. Luke Skywalker and his battle poncho, I mean, that's a pretty good value in my mind. Uh, loose graded, they can go for 400 bucks plus. So uh, to get that one mint on card for 338 plus $15 shipping is a good buy. And then here's the one I did buy, but not for me. I did not buy it for me, but I wish I had, as I alluded to at the beginning of the video. Uh, this one did have some pretty heavy stickers over on the left-hand side. Look how big those stickers are. But it was an unpunched example of Bosk on the 47 back Forlom offer. And what's unique about this one is that it only had very light yellowing to the blister. Usually, almost... 99% of the time that I see these come up, for whatever reason, this factory that produced this 47 back Forlom Bosk 
always yellows, always. And this one's no exception, certainly, but it's only very light yellowing. It's not bad at all. I think this is going to grade out at an 80, but I did pick it up for an international friend of mine, and uh, the total was $386 plus $15 shipping. That's a great buy. That's a really good value. I was expecting it to go for $450, and that was what the bid, it, that I was instructed to put the bid in for my friend at that price, and it only sold for $386 plus $15 shipping. I think it's worth every penny of that. Uh, the card was in fantastic condition overall, just light edge wear, but it was unpunched with just very, very light yellowing, and I think it's going to grade out at a yellowed 80 score. So we'll see. We'll see. But uh, 386 I think, was a bargain, and that arrives for me tomorrow, which I will hold on for a buddy of mine that I'm going to see at a toy convention in May. Uh, next up was a clear blister power droid on the 45-back Star Wars Display Arena ESB car back. It was punched. The blister did have some pretty heavy dings to it, especially at the top there. Uh, probably at best a 70, maybe a 75 grade. Uh, that was down in Australia as well. That sold for 350 Australian dollars, which is only 232 US dollars. So again, you know, if you can live with some of these defects, you can see the obvious defects at the top of the blister there, but it was crystal clear. And uh, overall, the card was in great shape. It'd probably be like an 80 grade for the card, a 70 for the blister, and 85 for the figure for an overall 70 plus. So if that's the kind of, uh, you know, condition you can live with, I mean, that's a great way to pick up some of these tougher to find figures. Like the power droid on an ESB car back is not easy to find, folks. And to get it for 232 plus shipping, I think it was a great buy. Uh, next up was a yellowed blister AFA 80 Another 48-back Revenge of the Jedi. Uh, this one was unpunched. It just light yellowing to this Cloud Car Pilot. Uh, the subscores were 80, 85, 80. I do have this one in my collection with a clear blister, but this is a gorgeous example. And I thought the price was very fair. $542.99 free shipping. Probably about right. Um, I know that uh, my example is clear blister. I think mine's an a, a CAS 80, maybe 80 plus. I can't remember. Uh, but this, the yellowing on this is very, very faint. It's, it's not bad at all on this one. So I think it's worth every penny of $542.99 for that one. Uh, next up, I got two different examples of Han Solo Carbonite, the last 17 figure. This is on the Tough to Find Palatoy Trilogo card. I think it's a Palatoy anyway. Uh, certainly the Trilogo. Uh, but the, the blister was in great shape, crystal clear, unpunched card that looked to be in fantastic condition overall. Uh, here's the back of the card. I mean, this is probably easily an 80 grade. Just fantastic shape. And the price reflected that. It sold for $800 plus $8 shipping. Probably worth every penny of that. Uh, you know, I've seen high-grade examples go for over 1000 bucks already graded. So $800 plus $8 shipping, I think, for that one is more than fair. Here was a very heavily yellowed blister. Uh, Power of the Force version for the same character. Uh, it did have quite a bit of creasing by the hang tab and at the top of the card there. So this is probably at best a 75 grade, maybe a 70 plus. That one sold for $5.69, only one bid on that one, free shipping. So you can see the price difference for the two different card backs. Obviously, there's condition differences, but this Clear Blister Tri Logo was gorgeous, unpunched. I think it's worth every penny of $800 versus the Power of the Force that had some condition issues that sold for $5.69. Uh, next up was another Power of the Force figure, Barada, with just, I'd say, moderate yellowing, uh, unpunched card. Uh, overall, pretty good shape. I'd say this is probably a 75 grade with just some scuffing in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, I might get an 80. Uh, no, never mind. There's something going on in the bag. This was opened. This was an opened example. I didn't see this when I pulled this one up. I probably wouldn't have included this as a mint on card market update item, but uh, this one had been sliced open on the back, and it still sold for $192.50. Um, I guess that's fair. I mean, this is a good display piece, a nice budget display piece. You slap this in an acrylic case and put it on your shelf and no one's the wiser because I think it does present a, a pretty nice for an item that's been opened from the back. It, it doesn't really show it from the front, but 192.50 is probably about right, I guess, for like a semi mint on card. Last 17 Barada, Power of the Force. Next up was a yellowed 85 King Gornish from the Ewoks cartoon line. Uh, fairly moderate yellowing, but uh, this was UKG. 85, uh, 85, 85, 90 were the sub scores. Pretty great card. This is the Canadian card back that was unpunched. And this one sold for 310 pounds, which is 380 US dollars. That's kind of right in line with market. We've seen a few examples for King Gorniche sell in that price range, but it is kind of nice to get one of these unpunched Canadian cards with the French language on the front. Uh, pretty good example though. Not too badly yellowed, which is often a problem with those Ewoks cards. Uh, next up, I got a couple of different playset type of items. This is the bandolier strap for Chewbacca. Uh, this is kind of like a weird action figure carrying case that comes in this really long box. 
The biggest problem with this box is that it's usually pre pretty heavily creased because of that flap, just like the speeder bike. Uh, it's got that big flap that's usually creased. This one was not still factory sealed on both ends, and that one sold at an auction for $207.50. I thought that was a really good buy. Very fair for a nice condition. Chewbacca bandolier strap action figure carrying case. And then finally, um, well, not finally, but close to finally, is this Jabba the Hutt dungeon. Wow. This one is the last 17 version where it includes EV-99, Barada, and Amanaman Aman inside it. So this one was unused contents. Uh, so this is like a qualified grade from UKG. Um, I, I was trying to find the grade for you. Uh, let's see. UKG graded 80% scratch-free acrylic casing very difficult set to find in high grade and this is the unused content so it is no longer mint and sealed box it, it, it means that one of the factory pieces of tape has come loose or has been taken off or sliced open but the contents themselves were not opened and inside this Jabba the Hutt action playset was three baggies for Barada, EB99 and Amanaman and those are always very expensive that sold for 1,800 pounds or about 2,200 US dollars, graded UKG 80%. And then finally, this one just closed literally a couple minutes ago, so I threw it in at the last minute. This one was a Palatoy 65 back mint on card Darth Vader clear blister. Really great shape overall, just some light scuffing. And it was listed in a buy it now situation for 240 pounds, which is 294 US dollars plus shipping, and it sold within about an hour and a half. So <laughs> uh, did not last very long. It did have a kind of a weird kind of bend right there to the left of Vader, and then in the lower right hand corner, it had some light edge wear. Probably an overall 80 would be my guess, maybe a 75 plus, but pretty nice example. Clear blister, Darth Vader, and you can find a lot of Spanish figures inside this mint on card Palatoy uh, Vader. So uh, be on the lookout for these because they're very, very nice to have. Uh, anyway, that's all I really had for this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the different items that sold here on eBay recently. Lots of good values, lots of good deals. Uh, and uh, thank you again for watching, and I'll be back soon.